Hey, and welcome back. This is Ken, and uh, I wanted to go through a fairly quick project that I uh, made, and it's obviously a uh, a light box, uh, which is sort of old school, uh, as opposed to the flat, uh, commercially available uh, ones that are now now on the market for those who are professionally. Uh, doing drawing and tracing and and uh, you know use it extensively, but I don't use it very often. I use it perhaps once a month, uh, whenever I want to backlight something. So you can see here it's ready for it's ready for tracing. There's this you know this tracing paper and and the original image under there and so forth. Typical light table, nothing unusual about that. And I wasn't going to do. Uh, use it this time for tracing. Uh, I plan on doing some uh, posts on more A patterns and uh, a more A pattern if you haven't if you haven't seen one. Uh, I don't know how if this will show up, but it it's basically it's it's interference patterns and uh, it it's kind of interesting to 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 work with. You can get some pretty interesting results out of this. Uh, so that was my plan. But I wanted something that I could... I wanted a light box that I could put together really, really fast and take down really, really fast. So this one satisfies this need. I built it in less than 45 minutes and it disassembles and assembles in 30 seconds or less. So... Uh, it can be folded flat, it's totally collapsible, and you can put it away and it won't take up too much space. Let me put a little bit more light on this. And I'll kind of go through, you know, how, it, how, I, uh, how I put this together and how fast it really is to, to do. So, I think that's probably going to be okay. Now, uh, I'll go through it real, really quickly because there's nothing magic about it. The top, the top piece is, this is just a lip that I haven't fully decided how I'm going to attach that yet. Maybe by magnets or, uh, I'm not sure yet how I'll attach that. But I do like a lower lip on this and I like an angle. A lot of people use flat, but I really prefer uh, an angled table. So, uh, this is basically 3 16 plexiglass, any size you want. This can be made uh, any size at, at all. And th there is a coating on the, I put a coating on the back side. Now, I used uh, a frosting spray from Krylon, which is fairly available everywhere. And it works reasonably well on, on, uh, on plexiglass. So 3 16th to a quarter inch, and that's available at hardware stores, craft stores. Uh, 9 by 12 is fairly common size. Uh, you can have them cut. Some hardware stores have, have uh, uh, scrap that they'll even you know, sell real cheaply. So that's, that's what I used. However, don't despair if you don't have uh, any, any of the glass coating because you can use wax paper just on the back side. Use wax paper. Just just fill fill in with you know some masking tape on either side, and that will give you a nice translucent uh, appearance, and you'll be able to use it you know, quite effectively. So that's not a problem. So that's the first thing. Uh, the next thing is the shape itself. Now before I do that, I probably ought to uh, do the lighting. Uh, I looked around and tried to find something really, really inexpensive. And uh, I wound up going to the dollar store and getting these uh, Christmas tree lights. Now, I would have rather had LED lights and maybe even battery-operated ones. They're available online, but I couldn't find anything locally. So these work real, real well. So perfectly, perfectly suitable for this. As long as you distribute them, you know, in a way that that will allow you to, you know, to have the light 
shine sort of uniformly. Now if there's not enough light, you can always put these uh, on top of a piece of aluminum foil and that will kind of diffuse the light a little bit and, and uh, reflect it a little bit more uniformly. So that, that's a possibility. Uh, if there's too much light, you can take a piece of parchment paper, which is silicone treated on both sides and good to 100, to, up to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Very, very easy to obtain. Cut out a square and just lay it on top and that will diffuse it and reduce your light. So now how did I make this old guy? Well, let me undo the light here first and show you how fast this, this goes together. Uh, or in this case, comes apart. Uh, one. Two. Three, four. It's done. <laughs> it's ready to put away. Less than that, probably close to 15 seconds. Here's the uh, here's the way I did this now, and this is this is nothing, nothing magical at all. Uh, I decided on a taper, and if you do use the tape, if you do the the, uh, the taper or, or the square, whatever you use. Uh, I found it easier to use uh, measurements that are multiples, like this is two inches and this is four inches. So that way I know that this has to go up exactly halfway, halfway or one inch, and the same here. And they all do the same thing. So it's just, it just slides together and you wind up with your with your side. Well, in this case, I, I, had do, I had to do it correctly. So that fit that fits perfectly. No, no problem at all. Goes together. Zip, bang, and you do the same thing in the back. Now, uh, so it goes together ridiculously fast. I mean, this is. This is just, it, it's almost too easy. So, it's, I don't think there's going to be any questions. I think that this is so straightforward. Now, with the lighting, uh, the one thing I did is, uh, this is running on 110 volt. Uh, and like I say, I would, have, I would have preferred LEDs, and I would recommend that you buy them. Now, this is a, a bottom uh, that I decided to use, and I sort of just hot glued the, the lights so that they were sort of symmetrically, you know, distributed, so it, it uniformly was able to light. So that's how fast this thing is. Uh, it works really well, and the the big advantage is that this can just go, uh, you know, fold up, put in a drawer somewhere, and if you only use it, you know, once a month, once every three months, uh, it doesn't take up any space. I've made some really nice wooden ones with glass, and uh, I've gone through all that. And they're they're hidden someplace in storage. I don't even know where they where they go. They're just they're just too big to to handle unless you're going to do it every day. So that's that's kind of a help. Uh, I, and I did want to make uh, one final remark. I I really appreciate the folks who have been subscribing. Uh, you don't have to. You can. Uh, you know, watch the YouTube videos, or go over to my uh, open source, totally free, no advertising, uh, website, observationsblog.com. Um, it's totally free. It's You can take anything you want on there as long as you attribute it. And, uh, you know, this, uh, everybody that seems to uh, subscribe and watch have posted some really nice comments encouraging comments and uh, it's more like a family so I really I really appreciate it and this is a for me a labor of love I don't make any money I actually spend money <laughs> but it's it's a way of sharing and it's a way for uh, caring for other people and I, I think that that's part of what YouTube and other services can do 
and uh, I, I hope you enjoy my website. I hope you enjoy my YouTube videos. And hey, this is Ken. Thanks an awful lot for watching. If you have any questions, head on over to the website. Uh, the, the link will be down there. And post your questions there. It's a little bit easier for me to respond to those. And uh, I'll respond as quickly as I can. Hey, thanks an awful lot for watching.